Hey guys, Mike back again. Right, uh, this evening's quick supper. We decided to be a little bit healthy, so we're just going to do some stir fry bok choy and mushroom. Just a quick one, we'll have a little bit of plain rice with that. But that should do us. No protein on this one. So I'm just going to start off, a little bit of oil. Always go around the sides. We don't want too much in there. Um, we'll just move that around. I will put a little bit more. Just let that warm through and then straight away I'm going to go in there with my garlic. I'm keeping this on the low heat. Actually I'm going to a little bit higher. Let's get that moving just to flavour that oil first. But the one thing I really really don't like and I think most people would agree Burnt garlic is terrible. I'm going to go straight in with my ginger now. This is all about flavour and aroma. Already the smell is absolutely fantastic. As I say, I don't want to burn anything. I'm going in with the white parts. Of my bok choy. And because I like it, I'm going in with some Sashwan and black peppercorn mix. Just to get them flavours building. These are the moments when I see things like this on other videos. I wish we had smelly vision. Now whilst they're warming, it's time for me mushroom because I want them to suck up all of them juices. A bit more black pepper. Needless to say, if you don't like the black pepper and you don't like and you're not the big fan of the garlic, well, you can leave it out, but you're missing out on so much flavour. I'm just going to throw a couple of drops of sesame oil. Let's get that moving around the pan now. Sure you don't just want to watch me keep stir frying this. And that's coming along nice. I mean it's unfortunate I'm using an electric stove. This is a lot better, a lot faster cooking on gas. Propane. Whichever you happen to have. But we have electric and that's just the way it's gonna be. Just going to go in with a, a small amount of soy sauce. That's the salt content. It's important to keep it moving. All of the heat is on the bottom of the pan with the being electric. Otherwise we get things sticking. Another couple of minutes. Oops. Another couple of minutes there and we'll get the leaves in. We 
if you feel you need to, to help with the steaming. We've got our frying section, you can just throw a small amount of water in there. That also helps if your pan's getting too hot, cools it down that little bit. We need that water, as you see, there's nothing in there now, it's nice and dry. You just need that little bit of water once in a while. And then I'm going to go in now with my leaves. I'll leave these whole because they'll pretty much shrink down to nothing. It's a bit like working with spinach. We just want to wilt these down. Let the heat get to them that little bit. It's not normal, but if you want to, you can put a lid on. But you shouldn't really need it. At this point, if you wish, you can add more. A um, little bit of chilli sauce, a little bit of chopped chilli, if you want to spice it up. Bib, would yeah. you like chilli? Just a little bit, I think. A little bit of chili sauce? Mm -hmm. A little bit of sriracha in there or something? Oh, no, not for now. No? Not for now. It's okay for do you want, Oh, would you like to make some Next chili time. vinegar? Next time we yeah. go chili. Chili time. vinegar? You can have some of that with a babe. I know you like that. Yeah, I do that later. Okay. Just only a right. little bit. There we go. Thank you, babe. Welcome, babe. Thank you for cooking, babe. You're welcome, babe. I think that's everything now. Yummy, healthy. I say all of that lick. I said there was dry earlier. Now we're getting that little bit of liquid coming out of the leaves. So that's beautiful now. Time to plate up.